this is my Her Pit Special. Uh, it's a 30 inch wingspan. Um, just finished the mechanical side of things. It's a pretty easy to build model. Uh, I've converted it to electric. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, the cowling, obviously split. There's the lid. So you can get the battery in and out. It's got a little latch thing there. Um, run 2200 three cell batteries. They uh, slip in there. Uh, So it's got uh, servos, individual servos in the wings. I've just got the wing taped on at the moment because I don't have the rubber bands in there. Uh, lighten the ailerons, lighten the wing structure, lighten the wing tips. Uh, it's a very heavy model. So I cut this hole longer in the back. Uh, got rid of this is meant to be solid wood in the back. Got rid of that and just kept the stringers going through. Had to put a little former in there. Uh, the stabiliser surfaces were meant to be solid wood. Uh, I put little carbon fibre 0.8mm um, diameter rod around the outer surface and then cut the these little lightning holes in there. They're pretty flimsy and flexy but they should be fine. Uh, the tail wheel, it's only got a bit of tape around it at the moment but uh, it has got aluminium tube uh, glued to the back of the fuselage and then that's where the tail wheel goes in and that's going to be the third hinge pin for the rudder so it'll get an aluminium strap around there and screwed in might use the screws of the pull pull uh, rudder mechanism to uh, hold that strap on for the tail wheel so yeah, running pull pull. It's my this is my third plane I've built, and it's my first one with pull pull. So you can see that in there. Uh, seems to work all right. So uh, the reason I did it was that I thought it would be a bit lighter. Uh, standard sort of one mil carbon fiber rod uh, for the push pull elevator. Um, I've got a, might not be able to see that up in there, uh, but yeah I've got a orange RX stabiliser gyro on it. Um, what's this motor? It's a prop drive, uh, NTM prop drive 2826, 1200 kV. No, sorry, it's an 1100 kV that one. Yeah, well uh, I will chuck a battery in it. And uh, I bought one of these things. Uh, and yeah, that's the Her Pits. I'll chuck a battery in it. Let's put this here. It's got a 30 amp Turnagy plush speed controller and I'm going to run a 9x6 prop to start with, Let's see how that goes. Might go up to a 10 by 4.7 uh, if the 9x6 is a bit fast. Let's stick that tail wheel back in its slot. So uh, yeah, the probably the thing of most interest that is not easy information to find is uh, where the battery location. Let's grab a battery there. My battery sits anywhere from anywhere from there, 
and it can slide up to here but my gut feeling is it's going to have no issues with getting the CRG uh, yeah so the tray that I built yeah, is not not many people sort of show how they've converted them to electric so it's probably worthwhile having a look at that so I've just made up this little tray a little carbon fiber one mil by three mil flat bar to, as the tray I might pop the wing off a bit later so you can see the uh, uh, you call it? the receiver and the back of the tray oh yeah I'll show you the control surfaces the standard surfaces um, have very little throw I'm not quite sure uh, where to set it but uh, elevators up quarter inch, down quarter inch, ailerons up eighth inch and down eighth inch and rudder left half inch and right half inch so this is the this way I don't have a prop on it I suppose rudder on low rates and high rates so mid rates, low rates um, so it can have a lot of travel if you really, a lot of people did suggest that um, it didn't have enough roll rate, but, uh, I didn't. and some people have converted it to top ailerons, but I haven't. Um, it seems to have. Oh, I've got, this is the high rate, so I've got it set to uh, with differential, and it seems to have. I'd be surprised if it didn't roll good enough for my liking, anyway. Elevator. These are oh, it's touching the touching the ground there. Um, use these little metal pin hinges, so they're very free movement, no binding. Um, so that's the uh, factory recommended throw rate, and this is what I can have up to. Low and high. Mid rates, low rates, zero. So yeah, it's a, overall it's a very heavy plane. Uh, I've made it as light as I can by chopping holes and things and uh, I'm at 670 grams as it sits here. Um, so it's probably going to be up around 750 by the time I cover it. Put rubber bands on it. The dowel pins through here to hold the rubber bands on. Yeah, it won't be any more than 750 grams all up the other thing that people talked about on the internet was uh, the landing gear wasn't strong enough the, originally the wire for the landing gear are in two pieces and they go up and they sandwich and epoxy into the firewall itself well, I've made this a complete removable one piece unit so I've just got four little M2 screws uh, with captive threaded inserts uh, and I've got plywood underneath the bottom former so I've sandwiched uh, a piece of plywood in here and then I've got the metal inserts uh, epoxied into the fuselage and then the landing gear comes up and screws on so it should be stronger and if it does break it is repairable yeah uh, let's see if we can pop this tape off quickly uh, I'll put little carbon fibre uh, diagonals in there just to try and reduce torsional but uh, twist but this plane's so solid I'm not too concerned my last little Gulo Spitfire uh, on its last crash one of the major issues was torsional force going through the fuselage and snapped a lot of the stringers out the back uh, this thing, they just slip off the uh, interplane struts. It's just a tight fit. So, good for a crash. It'll just... The force will get dissipated nicely. Which is bound to happen. Oh. 
a bit rough to it. So on the inside, this is how I've set it up. The uh, little HXT 500 servos here for the ailerons, HXT 500 elevator, HXT 500 rudder. The cords are a little bit short to, uh, you can see my rough woodworking, oh, I'm not too concerned about the, that, but uh, the cords are just long enough. So I normally have to, I've got the RX Velcroed up the top there. Um, you'll be able to see the the battery at the back of the battery tray there, sneaking up through the firewall. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's lightened up the formers in here. You can see it's got holes cut in through here, through here, all in inside there. So. Chopped as much weight out of it as I could, but it's still very, very heavy. Should still fly fine though. Look forward to flying, just got to cover it now and stick it in the air. Thanks for watching.